Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. If you're new here and you want more maths content, then please consider subscribing. If you learned something, then hit that like button. I hope you enjoy my video. Question three, simplify. So we're gonna have to do some factorizing first. So x squared plus five x plus four. We have x and x. Now to make five with four, we need four and one, both positive. In the denominator, we can factorize out a three. And you can see the x plus ones cancel. We're left with x plus four over three. Next one. So we have quadratics on the top and the bottom. X is everywhere. Now we have 10 and seven, so we're gonna use five and two. Five times two gives you 10. Now it's a positive 10 and a minus seven, which must mean that both of these are negative. Two negatives make a positive through multiplication. Minus five minus two gives you minus seven, right? Okay, 15, and we need to make the number two means we need to use three and five. Three and five. Now what's gonna make a minus two is gonna be minus five plus three. The x minus fives cancel. And we're left with x minus 2 over x plus 3 as your solution. Okay, 6 and 5. So that means we're going to need 3 and 2, right? So you have two options. You have 1 and 6 and 3 and 2. 1 and 6 is not going to work because you would need plus 6 minus 1. But 6 times minus 1 doesn't give you plus 6, right? So it's going to be x plus two and x plus three. Now remember, you could have factorized the bottom first. You can take out an x, you'll be left with x plus two. So that's the basic factorizing here, right? And so we can cancel out the x plus twos and we're left with x plus three over x as your solution. Next one, 25 minus x squared. That's difference of two squares, right? So 25 is five times five. We have x squared, which is just x times x. Then we have plus, minus. In any order, you could have written minus plus. That's not a big deal. Now in the bottom, the only thing we can do there is factorize out of five, and we'll be left with five plus x. So the five plus x is cancel, and we're left with five minus x over five as our solution x squared plus 6x, we can only take out an x from that. And on the bottom, difference of two squares again. So we have x and x. 36 is 6 and 6, plus and minus. The x plus 6 is go. We have x over x minus 6. On the numerator is another difference of two squares, x plus 4, x minus 4. And on the bottom, we need to do a proper factorizing here. Now it's eight and we have to make six. So we need to use four and two. How do we make minus six? Well, they both need to be negative. X minus four cancels then. And we're left with X plus four over X minus two is your solution. 50x squared minus eight. Now here, it's looking like difference of two squares, but really 50 and eight, we could do it, but they're not square numbers. I'd rather factorize out two first. So we get 25x squared minus four over. Then on the bottom again, we can take out a two. We would have five x minus two. In fact, we can cancel out the twos now. And on the top here, we have 25x squared, so what multiplies by itself to get that? Will be five times x. Four is gonna be two. So five x plus two, five x minus two, all over five x minus two, which you can keep a bracket around it because then it can cancel bottom and top. So your final solution is five x plus two. Then finally for this one, 24m minus nine m squared, over 64 minus 9 and squared. So from the top, we can definitely take out an M. We can actually take out a 3 as well. 
Now, 3 goes into 24 8 times, minus. 3 goes into 9 3 times. And don't forget, we factorized out an m, right? So that's going to disappear. And then m squared is just going to become m. Now, on the bottom, we have difference of two squares. What multiplies by itself to give 64 is 8. What multiplies by itself to give 9m squared? It'll be 3 times m. Then we'll have 8 minus 3m. Then 8 minus 3m cancels on the top and the bottom. And we're left with 3m over 8 plus 3m is your solution.